this is uh, DJ. And are we ever having fun or what? Every cast we got a salmon on. Every Woo cast. Looks good. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. I'm actually back here on the island and uh, don't get discouraged. I mean, wherever I go, there's going to be something new. I came back for a couple of reasons. The fish are actually in the rivers now. I'm going to be able to catch some salmon, smoke them with my Blue Eddy power pack and my smoker, which I brought, collect some seeds. Um, I want to get some Queen Anne lace seeds, just whatever plants that I can collect that I can grow in a garden at home. It's going to be awesome because finally the fish are in the rivers. I'm meeting up with a guy in Campbell River that knows the area, and he's been having success catching fish every day. So we're gonna meet up with him. There's not much daylight left, so I better keep driving here, but I just wanted to get off the highway, explain what I'm up to. We'll go from there. I saw some Queen Anne lace over here, so I wanna get some seeds. Right on. This is a Queen Anne lace. I'll show you a couple of ways to identify it in a second here. Uh, the reason it's not in flower now, but when I was here on the island last trip, I saw the flower. It had the purplish black dot in the middle of the flower on all most of the flowers. It smells like carrot, the roots, so I know that's an indicator. You'll see that these brackens here point downwards. Actually, these seeds are ready, so I'm going to collect those. It's got a fuzzy stalk on it, so I came back to collect the seeds so that I can maybe grow some at home, you know, maybe in a planter or whatever. The roots will be tough and too old now. So in the spring, if I plant my own, I'll have my own uh, garden of Queen Anne's lace right on. So I'm here at TJ's house. It's pretty early, Sunday morning. Uh, I got in here at the dark, in the dark. Finn and I stayed in the backyard. We're gonna get fishing and catch stuff. So this is where I spent the night. I just, uh, I thought about the poles here, but they're too close together. So I just had a foamy. I didn't string the hammock. I just stayed on it like that. So well, we're just gonna have a coffee and then get down to the river here. Okay, so this is uh, DJ. How's it going, y'all? And, uh, it's good to have local knowledge, so he knows how to catch these fish. And we're going to do some smoking. I brought the smoker, like I said. Yeah, and he'll show me the uh, the way he's been catching them. He's been doing really good on the river. So let's get got, down to the river, eh? I think I got something like 12 in the freezer, 13. Right. Pinks already, so we're going to get them, we'll get them a few pinks. And hopefully a spring. And maybe a spring maybe too. Maybe a spring yep. too, yep. that would be good. Yep. Okay, we'll get going. See you down there. So we're at the uh, river. We're at the river, yes. DJ's gonna hook up my rod the way he fishes because local knowledge is good, as you know. There's other fishermen here. One guy just had one on, got off. So here's Camel River. Show you the river. This is our spot. He's not perfectly silver, but... No, but we'll take him. Okay. Might as well. One. And we only been here, what, five minutes? Five minutes, something like that, yeah. All right, so we got one for the smoker. For Greg. Yeah, well, I'm going to catch my own, too. Yeah. So... DJ's just uh, gonna rig my line up. I mean, I, I wanna catch fish too. Okay. I don't want this to be like the 30 day on the island where Amos is catching all the fish and I'm not catching any. We'll get Greg catching fish. And Greg's little cast thing that he does, I'm gonna teach him a better way. <laughs> no, 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 I'm keeping that one. You're keeping that one? Yeah. Okay. We're using a float, I don't I have that. that. I'm using a float. Oh, I had a bite already. Uh, I 
got one. You got one? Yeah. There I got one go. instantly, first cast. There you go. Nice, buddy. Oh, he broke it. Did he break it or just break it? No, he broke the leader, man. Are you sure? Yep. Look at that. Oh, wow, well, he did too. The very first cast, I got one. And then he uh, snapped the leader line. So that's my kind of luck. And there's little, little, little kicks. Doesn't have to be jigs, just little kicks. There you go. I got one already. There you go. Oh, you got off. Oh, you got off. You got again. another one. Well, yeah, he's on. Oh, he's on. Oh, he got off. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, I think I got, you know, He's going upstream. Uh -huh. Now he's coming downstream. So second cast, another one. This is this is my kind of fishing. Let him uh, pull the line a bit. I don't want him to get off, but I just try to tire him out so he doesn't break the leader. This will be dinner tonight, this guy. If he's not too black, I'd like a silver one. What does he look like there? Tail hook. Is he tail hooked? Yeah, he's tail hooked. Oh, we gotta let him go. He's tail hooked. He's foul hooked. He's foul, but he's not bad looking either. He might have a bit of a hump. You wanna just release him for me? Yeah, I can do that. Of course, I had to foul hook him, so now we gotta let him go, but eventually we, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, all right, thanks, man. No worries, buddy. Okay, we'll just keep trying. Eventually, we'll get them to bite instead of hook them by the tail. I got another one. Hopefully, he bit this time. So, every cast, I'm getting fish here. I hope he's not just foul hooked again. I want to have a catch and cook tonight at camp. Okay, I finally got one that might be able to keep. Oh yeah, we definitely can keep him. Okay. Okay, there's my there's my first pink. We don't want him to get away. Every cast I'm getting them. Every cast, yeah. Told you how fast. Every cast I'm getting uh, pinks here. Even though the one was foul hooked. I'm just gonna play this guy and just have fun with it now because I got one for my catch and cook, so even if I lose one or two, it doesn't matter. It's just fun catching them. Now are we ever having fun or what? Every cast we got a salmon on every cast this one's mouth hooked there we go he bit it oh he got off he got off and he was nice and silver too oh no yeah another one <laughs> i think i'm ahead of you now i think so okay yeah he's mouth hooked oh good There you go, Greg's pink. Yeah, that's a good, that's, that's an that's all right That's good color. for the smoker. Good that's for the enough, smoker. Uh, I've got enough now. I mean, what's the point in keep catching, catching? Uh, I'll let DJ try to catch up to me. There it is. Oh, smash my uh, little red fly I was using. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> blooper. <laughs> nice little pink. Get him released. Oh, he got off. And my thing, as soon as he got off, I got tangled way in the tree up there. Oh, no. <laughs> it came like a springboard and uh, went way in the tree up here. See if I can retrieve it. You get it? Yep. Yeah. Got it. When you 
when it gets posted. Where's your stick, Finn? Finn, go get your stick. Oh, sniffing bear. Okay, go get your stick over there, please. Finn, go get your stick. Go get your stick. Go get that stick. Hurry up, go get your stick. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. That was a good one. Okay, so DJ and myself, we're gonna camp here. This is Mohan Lake. Mohan, yes. Mohan Lake, we're gonna try to catch a cutty or he says that there's kokanee in here too. There might we might be able to look luck out and get some kokanee, but they'd only be small. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We got our salmon for our catch and cook. Yep. Gonna get set up, spend the night, and cook up some fish. Right on. Right on guys. So I'm just checking my smoker. I'm running it with the Blue Eddy. It appears that the smoker can be run off the Blue Eddy power pack, which is like 2000 watts. The smoker is only drawing 130 watts. So it's gonna last 15 hours. That's good enough to do a real good fish smoke. I'm gonna do it here at this camp. This will be interesting. So with the Blue Eddy power pack and the smoker, we don't need power. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I'll take a that should work. That right to the tree. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's perfect. Okay, okay. so <laughs> what, why don't you explain what happened here? Well, <laughs> I go to set up my tarp, finish it up, and turns out there's a hornet's nest. You started, did you get stung? No. Okay, but what? they're flying around. Oh yeah, they're oh, buzzing they're, around. They're, oh yeah, they're buzzing around. I don't know. I don't know if I want to even go back in there right now. No, but let them settle down. I don't think you... Well, at nighttime, you'll still be fine. Yeah. Like yeah. like I say, just don't pound that stuff anymore. Yeah, no. Let them settle down. Yeah. And I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> I know, they're around us because we disturbed them. Don't, don't swat at them. No. Don't swat at them. <laughs> so uh, DJ's going to flay these two. These were in the cooler. The two I caught today, I got to go clean them. And we're gonna get our brine going and get these on the smoker. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a good one. It's always good. That skin is really tough. Holy. So we're getting our brine ready, get these fish uh, ready for the smoker for the morning is what we're going to do. I've done this on other videos, you know, just your golden yellow, brown sugar, whatever. Got two kilos of that. We're going to use it all, eh? I don't mind sweet with a brine either. No. I mean, we're going to get the smoke flavor anyway. Got the Himalayan rock salt oh is it one of these lids where the cracker i think uh oh <laughs> we gotta get this lid off <laughs> yeah <laughs> a blooper a blooper no we gotta get this lid right off yeah we do okay well we'll be right back with something to bash this lid off with <laughs> the tip of my knife i think i explained it in another video i broke it off on another project but Hopefully I can pry these off. Oh yeah, because this is actually, there we go, see? Okay, because they're actually a grinder where you turn them and grind your salt. This particular brine is gonna be a little sweeter than normal because I only have like, these are 250 grams each. So I got, you know, 700, wow. What is the math on that? Anyway, 700 and something. We have more sugar than salt is what I'm trying to explain. And usually what I do is 50-50. Mix it all in. Get it all good and mixed. Our fish goes in. And tomorrow morning, we're ready for the fish. So we'll get our fish in there. 
And then we're going to take a little jaunt and do some trout fishing. If we get a couple of nice uh, cutthroat or whatever we get, we might throw them in the brine as well. And then tomorrow, we're going to go for spring and coho instead of uh, the pinks that we've been getting. And that should be awesome. Coho I prefer to the pink. But we're going to still keep fishing for fish to do in the smoker maybe the next day. Right on. We're going to have a little competition. Just a friendly competition. We're back, guys. DJ's going to try his... Mar what are you using? Marshmallow? I'm using worms. Two marshmallow. Worms and two marshmallow. So the marshmallow idea is to float the worm off the bottom so that when my my weight sits, the leader sits way up here. Okay. And it kind of just sits up at, the, up at the fish's level there. You guys probably guess what I'm using. My maps. Yeah. But I am going to find a worm, though, to put on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, the first guy to catch a fish wins. But he doesn't win anything, really. <laughs> okay, go. Well, it's not where I want it, but whatever, it'll do. Look, that one. <laughs> yeah, you made me look there. Too shallow here for me, so. Yeah, you might want to cast out over there somewhere. Or, or even or on, right on here. this side, yeah, of me. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's better. I'll let it go to the bottom. Alright. Don't even have to hold my rod. It seems like when I hold my rod, they don't bite. There is? Well, it seems to be. I wish I had the tip on this thing, though. Yeah, it is. Well, I broke it on that last video when I hiked in. Yeah. I caught it on something and snapped the tip off. Yeah, yeah. Nope, nope. Well, I caught my, broke the tip off my fishing rod. I thought I would uh, had a fish by now. I thought I would have too, to be honest. Well, you were getting them earlier. I was getting them quite a bit earlier. Well, we might have to try this in the morning. Yeah, we might have to get up super early to try this challenge. Part two of this challenge. Oh, well, we gotta go cook too. So. Yeah, we do. We gotta check our burquettes. Yeah, okay, well, that's enough for today. Unfortunately, maybe it's a bad time of day. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Well, you know the lake better than I do. It is, it, it, that's what I find when I'm fishing here quite this evening, like the evening time like this, it, you know, it, the fishing isn't really the best. Right. At its peak best. Yeah. So. Okay. All right, we gotta go cook anyway. We're gonna cook uh, one of the fish up that we got today. But I'm also gonna boil up some short ribs, do some barbecue sauce. We're gonna have some briquettes to do those. DJ's a big fan of the channel. So let's eat good and have a good time. Some nice raising chuck short ribs. I usually boil them first, so a lot of meat on these, eh? Wow. Yeah, so Holy. we just put them in there. We boil them for a bit first. Yeah. So what are you going to do if you hit a big boulder that's five feet around? I'm not going to dig anymore. <laughs> <laughs> going to find another spot. Yeah. Hey. Eh? Find another spot, yep. <laughs> Trying to get it to fit in the pan. You notice I don't really care about my truck or my knife. So the fish is almost done here. Yeah. And the corn, and then we got the ribs we're gonna do on the fire, but I need the grill. We didn't bring a grill. This is the problem. 
So we'll leave the corn in the hot water, leave the lid on the fish, and then even though I boiled the ribs, they're cooked. But I'm going to put them on the briquettes and just with the barbecue sauce give them five or ten minutes and we're good to go. Now we're just gonna... We're gonna improvise. We don't have a rack to put we over. We do not. So, uh, Greg's improvising. Right? He's using his, uh, he's using his, um, Coleman stove rack. That's what we're doing. You think that'll work, Greg, like that? Yep, I do. It's, it, all we gotta do is just barbecue them quick. We got lots of heat now. Oh yeah, lots and lots of heat. Tons of heat there. As long as it doesn't fall into the fire. No, we're good, yeah. Just gotta place them where you want them. Yeah, you just gotta place and them. And then where you, you want crisscross them, them or whatever. Crisscross them, whatever. Yeah, they look really good. They smell good already too. We're just gonna throw a couple of pucks on here for the smoker, so we can get some smoke in here. It's uh, doing very well. Hopefully, it doesn't just collapse. But that would be bad. Yeah, there's almost too much heat here. I gotta get these off of here. Everything's just kind here. of burning. Here we go, Greg. You got something? Yeah. Two, two of these ought to work. Wait, we gotta get it out of here. Yeah. Just let me get them to the side here. No worries. I don't want to cut. Oh, that was hot. Woo! He he hurt himself. Well, it's just we're burning them. You know how many times, guys, I have burnt myself. They're on fire. They're on fire. They're on fire. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Then we can get them on Ow. the plate. <laughs> well, at least, at least they're, they're not on flame. At least they're not on fire. Yep. There we go. All right. Cheers. Cheers, man. All right. Bring a little food cheers. Let's try this, guys, and see how. See what the fish is like. Yeah. I'm kind of curious. No, that's good. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, that is really, really good. good. Really good fish, guys. The only thing is that we should have kept more. Yeah. They're going to be good smoke, though. Yeah, they are. See what the ribs are like. Yeah, I'm curious what the ribs are like, too. We're good. We're good. Yep. We're really good. Peaches and cream corn. Peaches and cream, yes. Oh, do you think it's cooked right? Yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. Crunch and, and everything. That is good. That's got a good crunch to it. Yeah, it's all good. Mm-hmm. I really like that corn, too. That corn is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all good, though. Favorite part so far, though? The ribs. Yeah? I haven't had short ribs done like this in years. No? No, this is my favorite way to have short ribs. The only way to have short ribs. That's pretty good. As far as I'm concerned. Fuh. Fuh. <laughs> what, are you choking on the bone? Hey, Finn. I can get out far enough. Ah, oh, I can't even cast. I'm gonna have to put a weight. Fish on. Nice. <laughs> I guess I win that one. You win. <laughs> I couldn't even cast out. And he he's couldn't got cast one. though. I got a good cast on him. That, and it hit, as soon as that worm hit the bottom, he was on it. Okay, well, I might just go to the bottom then. He was right on it as soon as that worm hit the bottom. Yeah. Here, let's have a look. He's hooked perfect too. Yeah. Cuddy. Cuddy, yep. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You can tell a cut through because it's orange on the throat there. Get that there. Yeah. Bag and bottom this time. So, based on the fact that I'm absolutely full of seaweed here, <laughs> I probably have to start reeling and not let it hit the bottom. No, I would let it hit the bottom 
and then reel it up right away. Well, I don't want to collect this stuff. Uh, you might be, it might be because when you're coming through the weeds. Well, I'm doing something. Yeah. I'm just getting nothing but uh, seaweed. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Where are you gonna go? Back to the river. I live down by the river mm -hmm. in a van. I'm already getting bites again. In this little lake. We'll let this tall, God, he's tiny. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, is he ever Yeah, tiny? but that's survival food. That is survival food, my friends. If it was a survival challenge, that's a rainbow. That is a rainbow, isn't it? It's a rainbow. No, that's not. Yeah, look. No, those aren't rainbow marks. Rainbow, rainbow has a... It's not a cutty. It's not a cutty. It's not a rainbow either. I would say it is. It might be a baby salmon. What? From what the kind of salmon? From the kokanee? Co uh, kokanee, maybe, yeah. You think it's a kokanee? I think it might be a kokanee. Huh. But then again... Okay, we're having a debate. Uh, then again, I, I don't know, because kokanee's tails and the fins are generally see-through. Okay, you better let him go or he'll die. Yeah, He's gulleted that oh, thing. Oh, jeepers. Yep, that is a rainbow. That's a rainbow. Yep. No doubt. So that other one was a rainbow too. I knew it was. Yep. Hey, well, just, uh, it's kind of rainy out today, but uh, just making my uh, camp coffee. After that, we're going to get the smoker going. To finish up my last video with my mouse trap. I brought it with me and um, I left it sitting open, or I mean set, and we got another mouse in here, so I'll just let this guy go too. He was in here all night, I could hear the trap kind of moving back and forth, so the trap works perfect and uh, they don't even get out of it. Our little guy is right in there, you can see him, okay we'll just let this guy go. Okay, so we're going to get the fish going here. We'll turn on the blue eddy and uh, get this smoker heating up. I think we're going to have to put it in the truck and blast the heat. Yep. Okay, well, our power packet was out in the rain last night and there's a fault setting on here it keeps warning me about. So we're going to have to try to dry it out and hopefully that'll get it to work. We're uh, on the ocean side of the river. Uh, I don't really want to catch any more pinks. We got enough for the smoker anyway. I want to go for springs or coho now. Some bigger fish so that we can really get some action here. So we're going to give her a go here at this spot. It's hard to get out very far. Oh, it's a, a little rockfish. A little rockfish, yeah. A little lingcod is what it is. It's a little green, lingcod. Green, green ling. ling, yeah. It's a green ling. Okay, well, we don't want it. Okay? No, we don't want him. No. Okay, well, I hope it's going to work this time. I had it in the truck all day. We really need to get this smoked, and I want to do it here at camp. Um, I don't really want to have to go and use power the whole idea is to use the blue eddy power station which i'm sure is going to run it just fine uh, i did test it and it was working so but now hopefully it's dried out enough that we can get this to work oh what are you doing where did this dog come from <laughs> some strange dog from another campsite i guess well that was rather strange actually just a dog showing up right behind me. Well, I thought it was Finn at first, and then I looked, what, some kind of Dalmatian type. Okay, it's so far so good. Yep, okay, smoker's on. So we'll get these fish in there. And I got the briquettes going here. It'll take a while. It's gonna take a little bit of time to, for it to heat up and whatever. Turn out good though. 
Okay, put the pucks in and we're good to go. Holds a whole pack. DJ went off. Um, he's hunting squirrels right now. Uh, if we can do a catch and cook with a squirrel, that would be pretty awesome too. I think in this weather, the squirrels probably won't be out much. Tomorrow, I have plans. I uh, met a guy when we were fishing down at the river the other day that watches the channel. And he has a boat, and uh, he offered to take me out tomorrow to try to fish for the springs and the coho. Now, spring or coho, that's really what I'd like to get on this trip. I mean, we've got these pinks, which are, are good too, but man, a nice silver coho or a nice big spring just for the excitement of catching it even. It's just one of those things where I ran into somebody that watches the channel and they're willing to take me out on a boat. So we should have success. We saw the, the fish jumping today, but you can't cast where the fish are. You need a boat to get out there. It's like 500 to 1,000 yards out. You can see them jumping constantly, constantly, the springs. And that's the plan for tomorrow. Okay, so now we got some smoke. Temperature's starting to come up. It's not even at 100 yet. I want about 120. Let's check and see what we got for... Look at that. Yep. Working good. I actually, what I did is I threw a couple of briquettes from the fire just to try to heat it up quicker and threw one of the pucks on there. That's probably where most of my smoke's coming from right now. But eventually it'll heat up enough and it'll work just fine. Okay, so something I did collect that I showed in the beginning of this video when I came here was the uh, Queen Anne's Lace. And I did find three with little younger roots that we can probably actually cook up. And here's what I'm talking about, and I hope you can see it in this lighting, but right in the middle of this flower, there's a darker purplish black flower right in the middle. That's the one indicator that it's right. Like I say, these point down. And when you scrape it, Smells just like garden carrots. So we got the right plant, and there you go. At least I found one with flowers to show you because the first one I collected seeds from didn't have the flower. Now you can see what the flower looks like. Right on. You know, morning. Uh, I'm looking forward to today. Gonna get out on a boat and uh, see about a coho or a spring. We're gonna check on uh, the smoker and see how the fish turned out. DJ is gonna go squirrel hunting. Uh, he's gonna go out and do that. I'm just gonna get organized and try to give this guy a phone call and see when the plan is for the boat ride. It'd be really nice to hook into a 20 pound spring or that would be just right on. Now there is uh, DJ's setup. Just a tarp and a couple of mats on the ground, and uh, as always, attached to the truck. That is my setup, and it always works for me. Check on our fish here. It's definitely done, I can tell that. I mean, it's, uh, let's just see. bone well it didn't quite turn out the way I want it not quite enough smoke flavor and a little on the dry side probably had the smoker turned up too high definitely good but not perfect like I want Partly probably because it's a pink. I mean, I would have preferred a coho, which maybe I'll get today. It's preserved. It's a little on the dry side. But we're definitely going to eat it up anyway. 
pretty much time to uh, clean the smoker. I've never cleaned it since I had it. At least the, uh, there you can, at least clean the grills off. Hopefully uh, tomorrow, hopefully I can get the, uh, get a coho in here, which is by far my favorite fish out of the salmon is the coho. Definitely won't go to waste. Hey, we're at the boat launch. We got the boat ready. Meeting up with Lee here. And his dad's coming along, which is fine. This is going to be awesome if we can hook into a big coho or spring. Hey, Lee, nice to meet you. <laughs> you watch the channel or just from yeah, the alone I'm show? Alone, I watched a bit of the YouTube. Okay, right yeah. on. Cool, nice boat. Yeah, what nice. what are our chances of catching something? Oh, we're a little late in the season, but still want to get a spring if we can. Right. If we get coho would be good. Coho would be good too. You know, I'd be happy with a coho. Oh yeah. Hey, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I have to do video. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Kind of spinning the camera here but uh i got my coho and i couldn't run the camera because we had a double header so unfortunately nobody could run the camera because we had two on at once right on he's going everywhere now he's done <laughs> well it's a nice day here and um man alive like uh, we're getting some action but i'm happy to have that coho gonna smoke that up back at camp as well but uh, i'm very grateful for these guys to take me out very hospitable people here on the island hey fish on Turn your tip up, man. Nice! Hey. Ha ha! Another coho! Nice. It's another coho. Well, we're having a great time here. We're catching fish, some are getting off. But, you know, like when you have to use barbless hooks, this and that, of course, some are gonna get away. That's the sportsman thing, I guess. But hey, I am so happy with that coho. And the one Lee got as well was great. Actually, Lee's dad got it, I think. But hey, we're having a good time. So uh, I managed to get my coho. It's not a huge one, about five pounds, but I'm going to smoke some of it up. Keep a tailpiece for dinner tonight. Uh, I want to thank Lee and his dad for taking me out. Unfortunately, when I got the fish on, I only have a short clip of me, uh, I, I should have uh, had the camera set up, but it happened so fast I didn't really get video of me reeling it in, but uh, I did get one, show you the fish, I'm going to get it cleaned up here. And I have to head back down the island, but I still have a night to do, uh, camp out in a different area, and uh, do another video as well. But, we'll get this fish cleaned up, I'll show it to you in a second here. I think I showed it already, but maybe not. <laughs> so there's my coho. And I'm like I say, I'm going to cut it into steaks. I wasn't really happy with the smoke on the pink salmon. Now, pinks aren't as good a meat anyway. This is nice and silver. It's going to be firmer. And I don't want to dry it out like I did with the pink. I had the temperature set too high. So I'll throw it in the same brine. The brine will still be good, and then tomorrow I can smoke this guy up and have a chunk uh, of steak for tonight, so right on. But running the Blue Eddy with the smoker did work. It ran long enough to do the smoke job, but just a little too hot and dried it out. 
We won't make that mistake on this fish. Make fishing roll if you wanted, but uh, I'm not doing that. It eat a couple of little fish. I don't know what kind of fish. They're half dissolved here, so it's hard to tell. Perfect eating or smoking. You can see how pink the meat is compared to the pinks that we got. I think I'll keep about that much for my dinner tonight. That'll be dinner, and I'm going to try to cut the steak similar to what Amos did on the 30 day, because those turned out really good. They were about two inches thick, that's what we'll do. And then it probably won't be inclined to be so dry either. Okay, we'll get that in the brine, and then tomorrow morning we can smoke these pieces. That one is a little thick, but... We'll throw it in anyways, obviously. So anyway, I think I forgot to introduce, this is Jerry, but the car is so interesting. And, and uh, what year did you buy the car? 1965. 1965. So you've had it a while. Yes. Boy, how much did you pay for this car in 1965? Well, the guy wanted $50. So I had to do a little bit of haggling, and I got him down to $35. You got the car in 1965 for $35. Now, the thing is, like, was that a lot of money for the time? I was making a dollar an hour. dollar an hour. So that would so, be like $1,000 today if at $25 an hour. Right. Uh, but that's still, when you think about the price now, now a vehicle's $80,000 when you buy it off the lot. Some yeah, of these trucks. yeah, that's so, what they are, yeah. You know, $35, holy crow. You can't even go to McDonald's and get lunch for that nowadays. No. <laughs> and it was a it was a complete car when I bought it. Everything was there for it. Yeah. It just needed some massaging and, and you did the work care. Yeah. And how fast can it go? And what's the horsepower? This well, is I, I cruise at forty five miles an hour, up to fifty miles an hour, which is eighty k. And uh, it's got a hundred and ninety four cubic inch, fifty horsepower, six cylinder motor. Right on. Well, it's certainly a beauty, folks. I like the color. That's really nice. In case you all don't know. Come here. There's a rumble seat in the back. Oh, no, I know. I knew there was a rumble seat. That's a beauty. And I'm going to get to go for a ride in it before I leave, I think. It only had one taillight, but the second one was an option. Yeah, until I put it on. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want your first hand? Uh, we're coming back here, right? Yeah. No, I'm good. Okay. Here, I'll shut the door. For Thank you, honey. Slam it. <laughs> Hi. All right. Okay, now I'm going to get to go for a ride in the 31 Chev. And that should be cool. I've never uh, rode in a car this old, but man, what a classic, eh? stay in the house but I'm kind of a outdoor cat I mean I was fine on the, the porch here and it was all good and really appreciate it but I'll come back next year to see you guys great yeah great. for Quite sure well. oh. you for betcha sure. okay take you care betcha. okay okay we're take gonna care, see guys. you later take right. care Bye now.
Okay, so one more smoke before I leave the area here. Um, I've had that coho uh, in the brine for a day. Um, I'm losing light again. I mean, that happens a lot. Days are getting shorter. We'll get the coho going. This time I'll turn the temperature down on the Blue Eddy. And hopefully it's just right by morning. So that's what I'm hoping for. Set my hammock up. Cook up that fish. And then I got to head home. I always hate leaving the island because it's so nice here. Like, I just don't like leaving. Like, I could, I could live here. I honestly could. But we'll get this fish going. Got a couple of pucks in here still. Yeah, it actually smoked very well last time. Um, but this time I want to turn the temperature down. Is it plugged in? Does it come out? There it is. Okay, I'll let that heat up and then we'll get our fish in. Well, I can put the fish in now. Hopefully these don't dry out like the last batch. I cut them into steaks this time, so they'll be a little thicker. I mean, this coho is going to be better than those pinks anyway. Still, I don't want to dry them out. Yeah, we'll just check our fish here. I turned this off and uh, we'll try our coho. Looks really good. Nice and moist. Mmm. Mmm. That is way better. Moist. Lots of smoke flavor. Not too salty. It's just right. Mm-hmm. All right, that turned out. That was a pretty successful trip to the island. Uh, the fishing was good. I mean, all together, uh, I think I caught 11 salmon. I mean, most of them I ended up giving, uh, or letting go, I should say. So when you get them foul hooked by the tail, or a fin or anything like that you're supposed to release them so we did but I kept four pinks I got my one coho and that's really good smoked uh, but it's time to leave the island um, I love the island I would like to come here you know at least two or three times a year because it's such a beautiful place there's so much to do here so much adventure that you can do here um, the scenery hopefully you enjoyed the scenery and the fact that actually I had success catching salmon. Uh, I'd like to come back every year when the salmon are running. And uh, hopefully Lee and Rick can take me out. Uh, it was kind of a quick little trip for a couple hours out there. But I know I'm starting to get more contacts here on the island. So there can be more adventures in the future with other people and people that have boats. So it's going to be good now that I have all these contacts that I can actually do some real adventures on the island. But I got to get heading home here now. Uh, try to make the ferry hopefully. I'm on my way to see Zach. So I got to get back. I'm going to be going down there in just a few days. We'll see what kind of adventure Zach has in mind. He's always got some kind of adventure. I haven't seen Zach for a couple of years. So we're going to get together and do some videos. Thanks for watching all of you viewers and thank you especially you subscribers and we will see you on the next one i'm out of here i gotta get back you know how nice red that is Yeah, I'll try this coho, man. Looks good. Mm-hmm. That is so good. I kept the tailpiece because there's no bones in it. And uh, the smoked stuff was good. But this is really good fresh like this, too. Hopefully you enjoyed the Vancouver Island adventure this time. <clears throat> this time we had success with the fish. So, thanks for watching. 
and we'll see you on the next one.